Worried about food shortages in 2022 and 23? Us too. I got some price comparisons to help you stock up, and get prepared for emergencies or whatever may come down the line. I've read the shortages are from labor shortages, supply chains, some stores shutting down. Whatever the reason, it's how we react to the situation is what matters. Keep your cool, don't panic, make a list and do what you can. Panic buying is really not the way to go. Slow and steady is the way it should be done. Start with a few items, what you can afford. The key is to get started. You're hungry, you go to the cupboard, you go to the fridge, wherever. There's nothing there. There's nobody to call, nobody's gonna help you. We don't have the food right now. The store's not open, there's nothing here. What are we gonna do? Well, if you don't panic and you plan ahead, you remember that you have that box tucked underneath your bed somewhere with extra cans of soup, SpaghettiOs, mac and cheese, whatever you decided to purchase for your home, for long-term storage, for in your pantry, wherever. And you remember you have that there. And wow, what a relief, right? Such a relief to know that. You don't the hardest thing to hear when there's a food shortage and you don't have a lot of food or any food at all is your kids saying, mom, dad, I'm hungry. And you got nothing to give them. The next thing is, I'm bored. That's really bad too. But that's really hard to hear that you're hungry or your kids are hungry. So if we can get started buying a few cans of something, it might not be the most delectable thing in the world, but it's gonna get you by. Like I say here after I make a meal that I'm not too keen on, but hey, I needed to use up some of that stuff is, it's gonna keep us alive another day. That's basically what we wanna do. So when I find these deals on Amazon, I do some research as in I pull up Amazon and I pull up another store typically and I compare prices. Now Walmart is a store that I typically compare prices because it is on every corner or close to it, or at least it's in every town or the next town over from you. So you, it's not much of a drive to get to a Walmart. It's easy to compare the prices and it's pretty much the same throughout the United States. So that's why I use it. Now I can feel some of you guys over there, guys and gals, I shouldn't just pick one out. I can feel you rolling your eyes. I can feel you going, ugh, Walmart, you know? And because I know some people don't really care to shop at Walmart. I understand that, I get it. But this is for the people that have been putting off, not getting a lot of things. Maybe they don't have a lot of money. Uh, I shop at Walmart a lot, saves me money. We actually have two stores in town so I can kind of bounce back and forth with coupons and whatnot to get what I need to save a little bit of money. But technically, really, Walmart is the place to go if you wanna save a little money, especially because it's very close to most places. What we wanna do is try and get things a little bit cheaper and maybe a little more quantity so that we can keep that on hand. Maybe not clear the shelf out, but you wanna get a little extra of something, right? So let's start saving some money. I'm gonna give you some ideas. So when I typed in bulk food or bulk emergency food, I got the first thing that came up was Agassin Farms. That's usually the one on Amazon that comes up first. I didn't know that Walmart sold that as well, but I typed that in the Walmart search bar and I picked and I and that came right up as well. So I go tried to Compare apples to apples. So Agassin Farms, 48 hour emergency food, it's a half bucket. So it's probably a two gallon bucket, two and a half gallon bucket, 2.5. But I'm gonna give you the two prices. So Walmart was $25.42 and you're thinking, whoa, for 48 hours. But that's gonna feed, I believe it's gonna feed two people for 48 hours. Amazon, same exact product, $65.40. It's quite a difference there, quite a difference there. So down in the description, there's gonna be these things that I've talked about. There's gonna be the two links there, one from Walmart and one from Amazon. We have no affiliation with Walmart. I just wanna give you guys the best prices that I can find. So the next thing is Starkist Chunk Light Tuna. It's an eight pack of tuna. 
Walmart has it for $7.62. Amazon has it for $15.15. That's quite a big difference there. You can get an eight pack of tuna for only $7.62. That'll feed you for a little while. And tuna's good for you, it's good protein. The next thing that I have is Del Monte green beans. Now this is going to be a 12 pack of cans, the 14.5 ounce, I believe. So just a regular can of beans. Uh, let's see, Amazon, $23.50. Walmart, $40.16. I'm not kidding you, that's crazy. Now I had a lady tell me once when I did a Dollar Tree haul and I cooked a recipe from Dollar Tree items. I had picked up a pack of, or a can of, I think it was beans or maybe mixed vegetables from there. And it, their vegetables are only a dollar at Dollar Tree, which is still a lot, but it was, I believe the Del Monte brand. So if you go brand loyal, they're gonna be a little bit more. Uh, so I paid a dollar for the can of beans or whatever it was. And she said, I would never pay over a dollar for vegetables. Well, guess what? If you're buying from these places like that, oh, you're paying over a dollar for them. But the funny thing is, if you go with a single can of beans, even if it's Del Monte, it's a little bit more, but it's under a dollar. If you go with great value, which is the Amazon, I'm sorry, the Walmart brand, you pay in 54 cents a can. So that's a lot cheaper. Just go to the store, get a flat, a box, call it a flat, grab your 12 cans of vegetables, and that way you can mix it up too. You don't have to have all green beans or all corn. You can mix it up. You could do six and six, three and three, three, whatever, whatever you wanna do. So I don't know, I think it's a great deal. If you do it that way, not buying the flats outright from either one of those places. So the next one is Mountain House Rice and Chicken. It comes in a number 10 can, about this size, just like this. This is an Agassin Farms, this is potato slices, but it would be in this size can. <clears throat> you got rice and chicken from Walmart, $28.99. From Amazon, $60. That's crazy. Mother Earth freeze-dried potato diced. I'd never heard of Mother Earth, so I thought I would do this one because maybe you hadn't either. You can check it out. I like the prices on these. They weren't, I don't think the size of a number 10 can, but they were in like a plasticky type container. Walmart's $12.95. Amazon is $13.12. Not a big, huge difference there. So really on that, you could shop at either place. So the next thing is a 72-hour survival kit from Four Patriots. You've all seen these videos, I'm sure, and the ads in between all the YouTube channels uh, and videos. You've had to, have, they're everywhere. So this is a 72-hour emergency kit. Let's see, 16 servings of delicious breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So Walmart has it for $38.86. Amazon has it for $27. So not everything is cheaper on Walmart. Sometimes Amazon has it cheaper. Sometimes somewhere else has it cheaper. Maybe if you go directly to the source of Four Patriot Supply, it would be even cheaper there. I don't know. But this gives you a few ideas on what you could be looking for and shop around a little bit to see what you can find that would fit within your budget. Hopefully this helps you, and if you want any more tips, I have some more videos on this playlist here.